welcome back to some World of Tanks action with Centurion. And uh, I I haven't put up a video in a while, so hopefully uh, this fits in with uh, this, the the unannounced schedule that doesn't even really exist. So here we are, World of Tanks 15, and uh, I'm glad to say that I've hit one of my personal goals for the YouTube channel is that get a thousand like total views not on like a single video but a thousand channel views not even really channel views but just a thousand views over all of my videos which I think is fantastic and I'm really happy about that and uh, we're at 23 subscribers and we really need to make that 25 that's like <laughs> it's like so insignificant to like compare to anyone that is known on the YouTubes but anyway, this is um, Kamaran, I think. And uh, however, however how bad this map may be for any other tank, I am in the Comet. And uh, I absolutely am in love with the Comet. It is my favorite uh, medium tank in the game. Uh, I think it's fantastic because it's got like this great gun and uh, the turret turns really well I, f I can it's, it has good acceleration I can flank around enemies circle them and not have any problems but I do have problems because I just really genuinely suck at circling around enemies and uh, taking them out with uh, ease well I guess it's not really easy either way but anyway you get the point however some people think this gun is uh, not very good and I, I, I know what they mean there are some shots that I take at uh, some tanks in some games, and some would even say that some of the shots I take at the IS over on my right are pretty uh, lame because uh, the gun doesn't have enough penetration, but I think it does well, and uh, I don't even carry a stock of premium APCR rounds for this thing, and like I do in the TOG, I always have 15 rounds loaded for shooting at the fronts of... AT anything because I love trolling the heck out of them and then getting rage messages at the end of the game. <laughs> and um, I just have like this thing carries a lot of ammunition as is. And um, uh, what I carry such a high amount of high explosive ammunition for is shooting at artillery. And this is something that I've been doing with a lot of my. Uh, tanks that have good rates of fire on their guns is I have a higher stock of high explosive ammunition because usually when I'm playing like a Tiger 2 or let's say Tiger 1 uh, T29 uh, whatever whatever has a slow reload I carry like maybe 5 rounds of high explosive on this thing I carry like 12 or something and that's because um I, I feel like because of the reload is so quick on this thing, it's amazing. I can switch ammunition types without any real um, uh, problem. Like, it doesn't really affect the the way I play this tank. Like, if say, oh, I have to do an absolute amount of damage to reset the cap before the cap in my Tiger 2, I switch to high explosive ammo, and now I have to wait like 15 seconds, which is fantastic. And, uh, but since this thing reloads so quickly, it doesn't really, you know, affect anything. Which is awesome, because now I can shoot high explosive at light tanks. And blow away buildings like I was earlier at that Tiger. And actually, pretty soon, I have a dirt moment. Um, I didn't load, I plan on not loading high explosive and taking a shot at this church right here. Just to see if it was destructible. Because I was planning on heading around there to that church. But then I saw this tiger and I was like, no, I'm just, I'm just going to wait. Just, just a little bit longer. But, um, recently I free XP'd my way to the T29 and I bought it because I'm a scrub and I really, really don't like playing the M6 because I'm too lazy to get the 90mm gun for it. So, I am on the, uh, 90mm gun for it and, uh, I, I am enjoying it. Uh, well, when I say the 90mm gun, I, I mean, with the upgraded turret and everything, it's not like the side package or whatever. But right here, this is a thing that I like to do in my eh, semi-fast tanks. Uh, tanks like the T29, uh, definitely not a Tiger II. Um, 
and stuff like that. I like to cross the river right here because when I spawn in the south, I rush to that same building that I was at uh, this round. And I just sit and I go back and forth like I was and I just spot everything and um, I tend, I like it more when I, even though I'm more familiar on playing on this side of the map, I enjoy it playing more when I spawn in the north because how um, how I get to rush and uh, I feel like I'm giving my team a better advantage because I'm up so far and if they don't have like a mass of medium tanks and heavy tanks on that side, I feel like I can get away with sitting there camping it out until my team snipes them all with their tank destroyers or the tiger ones or whatever you want to snipe with but um i really enjoy uh this map especially in the common i just love the common uh, it's amazing <laughs> oh man this tank is just fantastic i love it and i do have the centurion one unlocked the irony <laughs> i think i mentioned this in the last video uh i unlocked the centurion and uh Irony being, my name is Centurion Gaming, but, you know, I, I'm I'm too lazy to grind out 200, uh, or not 200, geez, uh, just 2 million credits to buy the thing. Uh, but this is the T29, and, oh my lord, <laughs> I got this thing, and I bought the 90 mil mil millimeter package, I didn't even play a single game until I had the 90 mil, I didn't even grind out XP, and I love this tank so much, I put a peace sign on the side and I put, uh, what is it, welcome to hell? <laughs> it's amazing, because you get this thing hauled out, and I'm sure everyone knows this, but if a T29, T32, T34, T30, and M103s, T110E5s, uh, T110E3s, if you get them anywhere near a spot where they can cover up the lower half of their hole they are ridiculously hard uh, to break through them because they're just basically a bunker that has a massive gun sticking out the front and um, I play with the 90 millimeter gun on this tank because they don't have the 105 and I'm grinding for it yay but it's not that bad. I like it reminds me of the Tiger's gun. It reloads faster, but the Tiger's gun has like way better penetration. This gun only has uh 160 millimeters of penetration and this guy misses the artillery around that corner. So, I thought to myself, "Justice. No kill steals for UT29." And it's at this point that things start taking a turn for the worse because that T29 and that IS down there are going to be like the death of the team. They're going to cause us to stall and it's just not going to be good because we got a fully upgraded T29, a fully upgraded IS. And um, I think it's right. No, it's not here. But um, oh yeah, it is here. It is here. I should have kept going down that way because since I went down here to help this T25 slash 2, uh, I effectively made it easier for them to kill the IS and the T25, but I did save the IS. I was afraid it was going to die, and I was like, no, we need... And I knew it. I knew it. I, I knew that we were going to need every single person we could get at the highest amount of health we could have them at. And, um, I tried rushing up ahead this IS to split their fire, and, uh... I forgot about the enemy IS. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, let me just let me just take a gigantic chunk of health away. And I thought about going in this little place, and I knew this was a bad idea. I know. If I know it's a bad idea, then why would I go in here? But he... That was just a dumb move. This and that other move of not going down. I think we would have managed if I just wouldn't have gone in that position. But this T29... Does he have... I think he might actually have the 76 more gun. Yep, he does. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I was like, wow, I'm not dead. T29 has, and has crap armor, but I'm dead. So I guess I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. So uh, set your watches.